when it gets hot like it did today, it can get dangerous for people who have to work outside in these temperatures. California does have rules in place as well as regulations to help prevent heat related illness. KCR 3's Maricela de la Cruz joins us live from Stockton to explain what both employers and their workers need to look out for. Yeah, Edie, Cal OSHA has guidelines and today we're out here in Sacramento talking to some people who are working outdoors and while they do say that um, they do try their best when they can to come in earlier and beat those uh, hottest hours of the day, they also say that when they can't leave early, they do try their best to stay hydrated and take care of each other. It's the first day of summer and with it, an unforgiving heat. As many work outdoors. Well, safety is our main priority. The job is going to be here tomorrow. So if we need to cut the work day early because someone's feeling um, fatigued, then that's what we'll do. They're not taking chances and are adding extra members as the day warms up. Normally this is a one crew job, but right now they gave us two crews. So right now what you're seeing is two crews out here working together, trying to get the job done and kind of make the workload lighter. Under Cal OSHA's Maria Isabel Vasquez Jimenez heat illness standard, those in agriculture, construction and landscaping, among others, should be following certain guidelines. For employers, they need to be providing their workers with adequate amount of water, shade, rest, and they need to provide training and do planning as well before heat arrives. According to the CDC, each year 702 heat related deaths are reported on average. And the most vulnerable are those with certain health conditions. Having an underlying health condition can put someone at greater risk. They're in essence more sensitive to the heat than someone who does not have that health condition. Sherry Bilavsky adds that teaming up in pairs is helpful a measure that this crew already took. When we have labor intensive um, tasks that we're doing, we try to partner everybody up so that way they can watch each other's backs in case someone starts feeling fatigue. But we take more water breaks. We also got canopy setups. Modifying schedules by starting earlier to be off earlier is also helpful to avoid those peak hours. And Sherry Belavsky adds that um, those people who have underlying conditions uh, do tend to um, have a di more difficult time in the heat. Um, live in Stockton, Maricela de la Cruz, KCRA 3 News. All right, Maricela, thank you for the covering that. We appreciate it.